I'm Shredmaster Scott, and this video is called How Would Bach Play Dream Theater? We'll take a classic riff from Pull Me Under and reinterpret it using Bach's prime, inversion, retrograde, and retrograde inversion. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Counterpoint is the interplay between two or more musical voices. Box music is often cited as the best example of this complex craft. We'll be using box prime, inversion, retrograde, and retrograde inversion to see how we might have interpreted Pull Me Under by Dream Theater. The question is, will Petrucci banish Bach to a sadistic theater of dreams, or will Bach pull the prog master under a sea of counterpoint? Okay, let's dive into this music theory theater of dreams. Tempo is 102, we're in the key signature of E minor, and here's the original riff. I eat things like babies. There's a little bit of chromaticism to note here. We got the C sharp, which you could say is a nod to the Dorian mode, but it's really just a passing tone. And then we have this little contrary motion collapsing chord here, which is cool. You got a G sharp and a C sharp, which are out of key. And the harmony that's implied here is really C sharp major to G, which gives you that tritone related chord. Love you, Satan. <laughs> Okay, next up, we're going to go box side down or inversion, which means we're going to flip the intervals. Anyways, if you can't play that, then you're shit. Anything that went down before is now going up and vice versa. John, what do you think? I'm going to kill you. Don't kill me, John. This little sequence right here turned out really cool. Again, with those collapsing contrary motion chords. Some people say inversion is the most satanic variation. Nah, just kidding, it's Bach. Okay, retrograde or Bach words. We're gonna take the prime and reverse it. I eat things like babies. You can test yourself by reversing the recorded audio, and you can also look at it from back going to the front, and you can see if you look at it, that is just the original riff. Let's release the demons in our lives. It really pisses me off, you retard. Damn it, Mozart. Pull me upwards. Okay, retrograde inversion is the last variation, and it's always the gnarliest, because it's the furthest removed from the original. So retrograde inversion is backwards and upside down. Is that cool, John? I'm going to kill you. <laughs> now I wrote a short fugue using the pull me under riff. You have the subject, which is the main melody, and then the answer, which is the main melody transposed up a fifth. So instead of E minor, it's now B minor. Then inversion enters and also the chorus melody. <laughs> And there you have it, a counterpoint interpretation of Pull Me Under. Remember, make music theory your bitch and not your master. It's simply a tool to get the sounds you want. Until next time, shred till you're dead. Anyways, if you can't play that, then you're shit.